Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we'll show you the complete workflow for designing concrete beams and concrete columns in RAM Structural System. Before we design the concrete beams and columns in RAM Concrete, let us first review the correct workflow for designing concrete structures in RAM Structural System. All building models are created in the RAM Modeler, which contains a three-dimensional model of the structure, including all members, loading information, slab and deck assignments, and story data. Then the gravity steel members are designed in the RAM steel beam and RAM steel column design modules. After that, the lateral analysis will be performed in RAM frame, where the lateral loads are generated and the full three-dimensional frame analysis of the lateral force resisting system is performed. Next, your gravity analysis is performed in the RAM concrete gravity analysis mode, which will use finite element analysis to provide concrete beam and column forces from all gravity loads applied to the structure. Finally, the concrete beam, columns, and shear walls are designed in RAM concrete. Before the concrete beams and columns can be designed, the gravity designed for the steel members, if applicable, should be current to ensure that the correct member sizes are considered in the self-weight and the seismic mass calculations. Also, the lateral analysis must be performed in RAM frame and the gravity analysis must be performed in RAM concrete to ensure that all concrete member forces are available in the design phase for the concrete beams, columns, and of course, shear walls. We will now proceed to our sample model that was provided with this training and prepare it for the design of the concrete beams and columns. This will include performing the gravity steel design in ram steel, performing the lateral analysis in RAM frame, and performing the gravity analysis for the concrete system in RAM concrete. We will start with RAM steel, and we'll go over to the design toolbar and access this area of the program. After the design is complete, you will notice that the indicator light in the lower right-hand corner of your screen is green, indicating that the design is current. Now we can be certain that member sizes have been assigned to all the steel beams and joists in the model. We will now return to the RAM Manager and proceed to RAM Column. After the design is complete, we will again notice our green indicator light and we'll know that sizes have been assigned to all of the gravity and lateral steel columns in the model. We will now return to the RAM Manager and proceed to RAM Frame. For this training, we will assume that all of the lateral analysis criteria has already been specified and all of the lateral load cases have already been generated. At this point, we just need to perform the lateral analysis. After the lateral analysis is complete, we'll return to the RAM Manager. The last step in preparing our model for the design of the concrete beams and columns is to perform the gravity analysis in RAM concrete. To perform the analysis, we'll click Process, Analyze, To re-perform the analysis, 
and this will ensure that all of the loads on the concrete beams and columns are current. The first workflow we will be focusing on is the design of our concrete beams. This workflow will include specifying the design criteria, generating the design load combinations, and performing the design of the concrete beams in the RAM concrete beam design mode. To enter the RAM concrete beam design mode, we will go to our mode toolbar and select Concrete Beam. Before you design any of your concrete beams, you must first specify the design criteria in the RAM Concrete Beam Design Mode. This will include your frame type, your beam design criteria, your detailing defaults, your deflection criteria, and the camber criteria. The first set of criteria we will specify in the RAM Concrete Beam Design mode is the Beam Design Criteria. In this mode, global parameters will be used in the designing and optimizing of beam lines and they are defined within this criteria and they can be defined for your reinforcement, your bar selection, or your design checks. To specify the Beam Design Criteria, we will go to the Criteria menu and then select Beam Design. We will first start with our Reinforcement tab, which is used to specify your bar spacing, concrete cover, reinforcement ratio, and bar sizes for longitudinal and transverse reinforcement. We will start with our bar sizes to consider for design. Here you can select whichever bars you want to use for your longitudinal or your transverse reinforcement. By limiting the number of bars you select, you can increase your analysis time and also have control on the detailing of the concrete reinforcement. You can also specify your clear bar spacing, your clear bar cover, and your longitudinal reinforcement ratio. Now in each of these fields, if the code radio button is selected, then RAM Concrete will search the code and determine what the code specified value is. Alternatively, you can also specify a user-defined value for each of these fields. If you do, however, specify a user-defined value, it will go ahead and use that value unless it's in violation of the code requirements and in which case the code requirements will overrule that specification. You can also enter your cover to your center of bars for both your gravity beams and your lateral beams independently. Next, we'll select our Bar Selection tab. This is used to specify how bars are selected in your beam design. You can specify when your bars are required. You can select your bars based on a few different criteria. And you can have some control of your bar sizes and your transverse bar reinforcement. Finally, we'll select our Design Checks and Forces tab. This is used to indicate if torsional capacity and deep beam code checks should be included in the design. Once you have completed specifying your beam design criteria, you can go ahead and The next criteria we will select is our frame type criteria, which will be used for the design of the lateral concrete beams and lateral concrete columns. To select this, we will go to our Criteria menu and then select Frame Type. The first option we can select is our Frame Type and we can select between Ordinary Moment Frame, Intermediate Moment Frame, or Special Moment Frame. We can also select our Seismic Design Category and our Load Combination Factors. For this training, we will be using an Ordinary Moment Frame Type for the design of our concrete beams and concrete columns, so we'll just click OK. Next, we'll specify our detailing defaults 
by going to the Criteria menu and then select Detailing Defaults. Here we can specify the detailing defaults for the gravity beams, the gravity joists, and the lateral beams. Next, we'll specify the deflection criteria by going to the criteria menu and then selecting deflection. Here you can specify the deflection for the concrete beams. This criteria will include both long-term deflection parameters and your effective moment of inertia. If you would like to add additional deflection criteria, you can click on the Add button and then assign that criteria to the particular beams in your model. Finally, we will specify our camber criteria. Here you can choose whether or not you want to camber your concrete beams, or you can choose not to camber at all. After you specify your beam design criteria, you are ready to move on to generate your concrete design load combinations. RAM Structural System comes with a series of load combination templates which are used to generate load combinations in RAM Frame, RAM Concrete, and RAM Foundation. Custom load combinations can be created manually or through the load combinations template. The load combinations generated in the RAM Concrete Beam Design Module will be used to design the concrete beams and the concrete columns. To generate your load combinations, we're going to go up to the Combinations menu, which here we can either select to generate the load combinations automatically or to build our own custom combinations. We're going to use the templates provided by RAM Structural System, so we'll click the Generated option. The first thing we're going to do is select our concrete design code. Here we're going to select the ACI 318.11. Next, we're going to select our live load factor. We'll assume 0.5 is acceptable for the usage of this structure. We can select our seismic parameters and also our wind parameters. The last thing we're going to do is click on our generate button, and then we'll go ahead and click OK. Now you'll notice once I generate my load combinations, the color encoding of my concrete beams is going to turn yellow. This indicates that all modeling steps that are required for the design of these beams are complete and the beams are ready to be designed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.